Hey everyone, if you've ever edited videos, you've probably come across CapCut and Filmora. Both are popular, but today I want to show you why CapCut is quickly becoming the go-to choice for modern creators. Right from the start, CapCut feels smoother and easier to use. The interface is clean and beginner-friendly, while Filmora still looks like a traditional editor with more steps to do simple things. CapCut just lets you drag, drop, and edit without the clutter. In terms of performance, CapCut loads faster and exports quicker. Filmora sometimes slows down, especially with big projects. CapCut runs well even on older devices, which makes it perfect for mobile and laptop users. Now let's talk about AI tools, CapCut's biggest advantage. It can remove backgrounds automatically, enhance video quality, add subtitles, or even generate whole scripts. Filmora has AI features too, but they're less advanced and not as fast. When it comes to effects and templates, CapCut easily wins. It has a massive collection of trendy transitions, filters, and ready-to-use templates that fit TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram content. Filmora's effects are nice, but they can feel outdated next to CapCut's constantly updated library. Text and subtitle tools also feel more natural in CapCut. You can auto-sync captions and animate text easily. Filmora offers more templates, but they often look generic compared to CapCut's clean and modern style. Another big difference is price. Filmora requires a paid license, while CapCut is completely free, even for many premium features. That's a huge deal for creators who want pro results without spending money. CapCut also offers something Filmora doesn't, Cloud Sync. You can start editing on your phone and finish it on your computer. Filmora doesn't have that flexibility yet, which makes CapCut more convenient for creators who edit anywhere. And because CapCut is owned by ByteDance, it's tightly connected to TikTok. You get instant access to trending audio, filters, and effects. Filmora isn't built for that, so CapCut helps you catch trends faster and grow your social media reach. For mobile editing, CapCut's app is unbeatable. It's nearly as powerful as the desktop version, while Filmora Go, Filmora's mobile app, feels more limited. CapCut lets you create professional videos directly from your phone. CapCut also nails automation. Its AI video generator can turn a few clips and a short prompt into a full, stylized video. Filmora doesn't have anything that powerful yet. This saves creators a ton of time, especially when posting daily. Even for advanced editors, CapCut has strong tools like keyframing, color grading, and speed ramping. Combined with AI and templates, it delivers both control and simplicity, something that Filmora struggles to balance. Both apps are great, but Filmora feels more traditional, while CapCut focuses on speed, creativity, and trend-based content. If you make social videos or short-form content, CapCut is clearly the better fit. So overall, CapCut wins in performance, AI features, templates, and price. It's modern, free, and constantly improving. Filmora is solid, but CapCut just feels built for today's creators, fast, smart, and connected. If you're still deciding which one to use, I'd say go with CapCut. It's free, easy to learn, and powerful enough to make your videos look amazing in minutes. Thanks for watching. If this review helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your creator friends. See you in the next one.